Wala pong tutulog sa atin, kundi tayo rin. Protecting the environment, inspiring your citizens, and helping people move forward to develop a productive future. To fight and mitigate climate change and to assure future Filipinos of a genuine first world status. We must protect our environment. May kinalaman ito at nakaka-influensya sa, sa kalusugan ng ating mga mamamayan. Effective governing is not a popularity contest. The people deserve for their leaders to deliver results. With an eye on the future, the 1,495 members strong League of Municipalities of the Philippines held its 2008 General Assembly at the Tent City in the Manila Hotel from November 19 to 21. Manila Mayor Alfredo Lim, U.S. Ambassador to the Philippines Her Excellency Christy Kenny, and former Senator and DILG Secretary Attorney Joey Lina opened the Assembly. Mayor Lim set the tone by addressing rising concerns in the global economic downturn and stressing unity and self-reliance as keys to being resilient in the face of any crisis. We have to be vigilant. We have to aggressively address the problems and find solutions to these problems. That's what we are elected for. In finding the solutions, we should act as one people with a common goal of making every city and municipality across the country as self-reliant and as progressive as we can make them because in harnessing our own resources and in standing on our own and fighting our own battles brilliantly as did our forefathers before us do we learn the value of independence. President Gloria Pagalaroyo reinforced the role local chief executives play in the country's fight against hunger by promoting food security. We hope by continuing to provide this financial support to our farmers, we hope to be rice self-sufficient within five years. But remember, agriculture is a devolved department. Kaya napakalaki ang papel ng mga mayor. Because at the end of the day, your era is supposed to include agricultural services. So therefore, food security in your jurisdiction must be addressed by the local chief executives. And I thank you that you recognize the responsibility based on your program of showing best practices in agricultural productivity. But I am also glad that you have not placed your obligation to the environment, and to peace and security in the back seat. One of the major events that transpired was the consultation with leaders of various national government agencies. The local chief executives had the opportunity to ask them on health, the environment, climate change, security, energy, and peace in order. Uh, 
tetap pilih Kasi para pasukan mo rin We talk about addressing the problem of climate change But we keep on throwing our garbage in open dump sites We have almost 900 of these open dump sites We have to put a stop to this Because the pollution, the methane gas that uh, comes from the open dump sites is one of the biggest contributors to the problem of climate change. So, masaka, again, ulitin ko, kung wala mang pondo, ang tanggapan ko, ihahanap kita ng pondo. Kung wala akong makita ng pondo, kahit sunod ng pondo ko, papartiran kita. Kaya maganda yung pwesto. We need to know how you really have a direct application that uh, 50% of the economy is fine, but it is being utilized for previous after activities. I also support that the LGUs even be given additional flexibility rather than 10%, even increase the 10% calamity fund for preparedness purposes to let's say 15% or 20%. So the uh, need or the necessity for adequate mitigation and preparation to a greater extent, not merely through local government uh, unit financing, but with adequate national government support because although certain facilities, certain infrastructure may be situated in LGUs, they may affect national flow of trade and commerce, thereby affecting the nation as a whole. So I support it and I'm asking even for more from the national government by way of the Disaster Risk Management Bill pending in Congress now. Thank you, Mr. Panalistic. Ang hirapin ko ay sakasakapan sa paggawa po ng plastic. At kung ayaw ay pupunta sa lahat ng lugar dito sa Pilipinas, makikita natin ang ginagamit ng ibang mga negosyante na nagtitinta ng soft drinks. Pag iuwi po yung soft drinks, ipapalagay doon sa sukos ng plastic. Tama ka, meron na posibleng banta na ang uh, mga plastic na ito ay uh, melami at uh, alam naman natin sa mga uh, nagdaan na uh, mga balita hinggil sa uh, melami contaminated uh, milk and uh, milk based uh, products no? ay ang uh, napagalaman natin ang mga plastics ay uh, karaniwan inahaluan ng melami at ang uh, bipad na ang siyang uh, at uh, nagsusuri kung uh, itong mga gamit na ito at itong plastic na ito isasama natin sa mga testing ng ginagawa ng uh, BIPAD pero uh, alam naman natin na ang BIPAD is a Bureau of Food and Drugs kailangan humanap tayo ng uh, technical uh, experts hindi ko alam kung ang DNR ang siya baka katulong sa Department of Health upang alamin kung uh, may mga masamang uh, mga ingredients at mga plastic na ito na banta sa kalusugan ng sinuman kumagamit. The value of the local government cannot be emphasized enough. It is at this level where most concerns can easily be identified, addressed, and solved. The uh, effects of climate change are genuinely being felt, not only in the provinces. We have to coordinate with you and we have to support your local capabilities with additional national government funding.